Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of my tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you all the programs we are going to need so that you can follow my tutorial series. So first we start with the game engine we are going to use. It's Unity 5. It's a very good game engine. You can get it under unity3d.com. Um, to download it, you just click on this yellow button, get Unity 5. We're going to use the personal edition of Unity. So it's the full engine with all its features. It's royalty free and you can export to every platform with certain limitations. I think the only platforms you can't export without paying is PS4 and Xbox One. So you can export your game to literally anything. You can ex uh, export to Windows PCs, you can export to Mac, you can export to Linux, you can export to Android, you can export to Windows Phone. You have a lot of options to publish your game. So just click here on free download and install it. The next program we are going to use is Blender. Blender is a 3D modeling application. So that means you can create 3D models. You can design weapons, you can design levels, you can design characters, you can design everything your imagination can come up. You just have to have a lot of practice. So um, to get it, just click on Blender, here download. And then if you're on a Windows PC like me, just uh, take the installer, choose if you're US, Germany or the Netherlands, download it. If you have a Mac, you have to download the zip file. On a Linux, uh, I think Unity doesn't support Linux, so I'm sorry all my Linux friends. You can uh, get Blender from Blender.org. So the next two programs are not really necessary, but they're very helpful to have and they're uh, very useful. The first, f uh, the first one is Audacity. Audacity is a program that you can use to uh, modify audio files. So you have a, uh, if you have an MP3, for example a gunshot, you can drag it in there and then start to modify it. You can cut it down, you can add bass, you can remove the bass, you can do a lot of, uh, lots of stuff with it. Um, another neat feature about Audacity is you can actually record your voice. So for example now, I'm using Open Broadcaster software to record my screen and I'm recording my voice with Audacity so that I can uh, modify it in the end. Like for example removing the background noises that my microphone has. Yeah. And uh, the last one is GIMP. I think it's the most famous of all of these programs. Uh, it's basically free Photoshop. Um, it doesn't have all the fancy features that Photoshop has, but in the most cases as a normal person, you really don't need all those features and um, I mean GIMP is a free program and it has a lot of different tools. So uh, with GIMP you can modify pictures and make your own pictures, you can make your own textures, you can modify other pictures to make it as uh, to make them your own textures. And it's just a really, really good program overall. You can get it from GIMP.org. So, if you can download and program all these files and all these programs, you're pretty much good to go and follow the tutorial series. Please subscribe to stay up to date and leave a like and a comment. It would make me really happy. So thanks for watching and until next time.